Hi guys, hope you're all doing well and in today's video I've got a cracker for you because we are off to Bill's Sickly Room. I've never actually been to Bill's Sickly Room and seen his fish room and I've watched it obviously for the last two years maybe on uh, YouTube and it's also nice for me because me and Bill have become very good friends. We were introduced by Rick from Predator Aquatics about two, two years ago-ish now and we've got a pretty good friendship which is virtual we we talk a couple of times a week and it's going to be nice for me to actually meet bill after all this time um there's a few reasons for my visit over there the firstly i'm going to go and buy some fish for my fish room and i'm getting a nice big order from him and obviously to meet bill and to film his fish room as well um but i have got to say that actually bill is an absolutely fantastic guy um, I've got to know him really well and he's you know he's you meet a lot of people in this hobby and he's one of the nicest people I've ever met in this hobby he's such a nice guy he's honest and you know he's got a YouTube channel guys and I would love it if you went over there and subscribe to his channel if you're not already subscribed because it's well worth subscribing and I'm doing this intro after that I've been there and honestly it did not disappoint it's unreal he has got some beautiful fish i'm going to show you the footage that i've put together with me and bill in his doing a tour of his fish room so hope you enjoy this one guys okay guys so i'm now at bill cichlid room come to see the amazing fish room there's bill so what i'm going to do guys is i'm just going to turn you around and show you the tanks and get Bill to talk us through some of the stock. Okay, so the first tank we're going to look at is this carpenter's tank. What else is in here, Bill? There's a Thomas Sickler tuber, the Anatolia minor eye, and the Robert Stone eye. That Robert Stone eye is beautiful, isn't it? Is it male or female, do you know? I think it's male. That is a stunner, that art. There's the tuber, and there's the pair of Ferrithi's Passionis. Passionis, there it is. They're, they're gorgeous and all them, aren't they? Check that out. So what's going on with the carpenters then? Uh, did, did we just grow out so we're just waiting for them to, to pair off. Have you had any signs yet? No. <laughs> that's a nice one, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's a male. Stunning that they're really nice them. Okay, so check this male polina out guys, it's absolutely stunning. It is an African cichlid, so I'd say 10 inches, we've agreed on 10 inches, we've had the ruler out and it's about 10 inches. The female is in the pot. So, when did you get these, sorry, Bill? About two years ago. And how big were when you got them? There's the female. Yeah, they, they were about an inch. There's a group of six of them. And you grew these out yourself, yeah? yeah. But they, you said they do spawn, but you've not had any actually grown any young on yet, then? No, no. They, they've laid eggs a few times. Uh, they, they did get into, they were laying them every month. Um, but yeah, they, none of them hatched. And what was that fantastic fact you just gave me about their eggs? Yeah, they, it's like fr uh, frog spawn, so they, they have filaments on them and they all join together. So it's like a carpet of eggs. Yeah. And what they do is they move the eggs around the tank. It's amazing watching stuff like that. I never get bored of that. See, there we chased him in there, then she actually had him right off, didn't she? Yeah, they're amazing now. I absolutely love this pair. Every time I watch the video, I just fall in love every time when I see them. That male is absolutely something else. Oh, look at them. These are the lower celli eye, aren't they? Yeah, thread the star eye. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? That's a bone of contention, isn't it? That's a nice one there. So can anyone sex them? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, If anybody's watching, do you know how to sex these fish? Would you say that the darker one, and the, would you say that's a male and a female either way there? I've got in the shot now. Yeah, it's... What I think is the darker ones are the males yeah. and the lighter ones are the females. I would have thought so, yeah. But if you look at this one in the back, it's shaped like a male. You look at the head profile. They are stunning them, mate. Absolutely stunning them. And like I said, you know, I was just saying to Bill then that being here in the fish room and seeing it in, in like live situation is so much different than watching on the video. The fish are a lot bigger what they look like on the video i always underestimate as well something how big are they yeah so i would say what would you say they are so they've got to be six seven inches i don't know that one at the back's a big one. Oh, these they're, they're honestly these are fantastic 
So when I do the videos, I fish five to six inches. No, they're bigger <laughs> than five to six inches. But you know what? I'm an ex-fisherman, so <laughs> if I ever caught anything, it was always an inch or two bigger than what it was. Look at that. What a great shot. And then you've got the little Cuban in there. That's a male Cuban, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Just watching it all go on from his pot. Oh yeah, yeah, look. Not happy with my camera in his face. Is he feisty, you say? Yeah, he's yeah. probably have to be in there, won't he? Yeah. These are unbelievable, honestly. I love these, mate. Stunning. Which ones do you prefer, the darker ones or the lighter ones? Uh, probably the darker ones. Yeah. What the plan is, is to get a paid and then move the other ones on. Yeah, don't tell me that. <laughs> I don't need to wear that. <laughs> okay, so this tank, I can see there's some caught eye in here. What else have we got, Bill? There's a female Nanolatus. Oh, yeah. There at the back, let's get a, get a focus on her. There she is. Nice fish, that. There's a pair of Sylvie eye. There's one. That, that's female, isn't it? Yeah. And, and where's the male? Oh, right, in front of us there. Nice. And then them Bacorti. Oh, you know what I think about them anyway, mate. I love them. I think I my view every time you do a video on them, don't I? Yeah. Still not giving in, have you? <laughs> they are unbelievable, them. There's also a group of the Alta Fluva. Oh, yeah. Is that one at the back there? Yeah, I think there's about six in there. Mm. Nice. Nice tank, love it. And the little coddies. Are they dupes? Yeah. Oh yeah, Jupicaris. I should have a group of them years ago. In fact, a mate of mine, John's got them now. He'd probably be watching this video, actually. He's got them. About, I think there's about 15 of them in it. They're stunning. I mean, there's a Geo, obviously. Is that a redhead? Yeah. Wicked. Love this tank. Love it. Them Bacotti have come on a tree, because I remember when you bought them. You from Predator Aquatics, didn't you? That's right. And yeah. they were bought you with about an inch, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. And I think they are a slow grower, ain't they, these? So you've done well to get them to that size because they're about five, six inches them, aren't they? Yeah, it's a good, what's that, about 18 months? Yeah. yeah. I think some of the people would probably argue with us and say that they should grow quicker than that, but I'm not sure. I believe these are pretty slow. But they are stunning. What a little group that is. And obviously when you get a pair, you're going to move the rest on, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> I'm first on the list, yeah? <laughs> right, so now this is the chocolate cichlids. Uh, do you know what? They look so much bigger than they, they look on the camera as well. So what's in here now? So these are, uh, is it a pair of, did you sort that situation out with the chocolate cichlids? It's, I believe it is a male and female, but because I moved the group, uh, I moved the pair on and it was the bonded pair. Uh, so I, unfortunately I'd split them. Yeah, shame. And the, the two I've got left, they haven't bonded. I'll tell you what, you know, though, those geos are some size, aren't they? Yeah, again, they were small when I got them. What are they, Surimensis? Or... Surimensis. Yeah, they are them. absolutely stunning. Them, They are massive, that one there in the front. Wow. See some big geos me in the last few weeks, you know. Yeah. I've got some a big group at Wharf as well. But these get to 12 to 14 meters. Yeah. And these are something you should keep in a group and all, aren't they, believe, um, yeah. um, preferably? Stunning, stunning tank, that, Bill. Right, so this is the Rainbow Cichlid tank, and obviously there's some Ashraka in there. So talk to me through what the stock is in here, Bill. Yeah, so the Hedy Talib here, Multi Spinosa, the Rainbow Cichlids. So there's six of those in there, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> <laughs> and the Thomas Cichlid Ashraki, so there's three of those. Beautiful. These, This group of rainbows is, is honestly made, it's phenomenal. The size of these fish for rainbows. They've, they, you know, they've, they've got to be fully, them males have got to be full size, surely. Yeah, they are. Definitely no more growing in them. They are huge, man. They are beautiful. And them as are doing well, aren't they? Because I know you had your issues with them in the first place. Yeah, they've been. Well, they're coming to treat them, haven't they? Yeah, they've been fine for about six months now. And you, I'm sure you've said on your videos you believe you've got a pair, or you've got a male and a female, should I say? Yeah, I believe so. Did, what happens when they do a water change on it with the cold water? Did, it seems to trigger them and they, they go into spawning mode. They haven't actually laid, laid eggs yet, but like they definitely go through the motions. Yeah, they're amazing. I love this tank, you know. Love it. I love your tanks. I love the fact that, you know, the way they're set up as well. Aren't they? You've set them up really well, I think. Yeah, it's... The, the decorations in there, the, the setup, as you say, like to... For the line of sight and yeah. also with spawning 
spoon in. Yeah, so. pro proper lot of uh, loads of uh, options for him, haven't they? Brilliant. Okay, so this tank has got your what are these called again, Bill? I always it's forget the names. The Melon Rambo. Right, the these. Tell me a bit about them. African, yeah. Yeah, for well, Madagascan. Yeah. Yeah, so they, these are quite rare. So about 10 years ago, uh, they were thought to be extinct in the wild. And then they, they actually found them in, in another lake. Uh, and they collected, I think it was about about 80 that they've collected. And they've gone to all the specialists who've been breeding them. So I believe that's where these have come from. Wicked. So how many tanks have you actually got set up? Including the little grow out ones, there's, there's about 20. And then you've got obviously the other side of the fish room as well that you don't use. Yeah. Stunning some uh, red geos as well. Yeah, this is the, like the, these have spawned. And um, so I put them in this tank so it was a bit less, less crowded open that they'd spawn again. Just before they got the Madagascan ones. So <laughs> 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 and then you've got the tea bars. I call them tea bars. Sajika, is it? Yeah, yeah. They have spawned, did you say? It's. Yeah, she's got eggs now inside the pot. Ah, oh, wicked. So she's got eggs in there that she's looking after. Awesome. So many projects, haven't you, going on in the background here? Yeah. I love it. I love it. And it's actually, I must have to say, I've got to say it again, that it's actually nice being here <laughs> in the flesh to see it. And it's a whole different experience actually being here, mate. I love it. Right. What else have we got? Right, so this is, I would call it the Fenestratus tank. So what's in here, mate? Yeah, so these are all grow outs from um, different breeding projects I've done. And I've kept about half a dozen of of each one and actually put them in here. Um, so there's the Neotropolis Neotropolis. They're who, breeding, aren't they, at the back? Yeah, uh, who've just bred. So yeah. I don't suppose they'll be here at the end of the day. <laughs> Yeah, so obviously the Neotropolis are doing some breeding, and then you just spotted on this video that the Cutter are doing some as well, yeah? Yeah, there's some free swimmers the Friday as well. Yeah. It's all going on in this tank. What else have we got? Obviously we've got the, the Fenestratus, haven't we? What are the different two types there, mate? No, they're, they're actually, they're, these oh, yeah. were all off the normal coloration. There were six of them, and one of them's gone the... You were saying one of them, one. yeah, before that one of them's gone pink, were not you? Get cut her eye there, fighting off those neats. <laughs> yeah, that keep them occupied. For them. Amazing, <laughs> yeah, that. I love that. Yeah. Some stunning fish in this tank, mate. I love that scale. I love that wood, actually. It's got it's nice wood, that. Mm -hmm. Awesome tank. There's a couple of Nicaragua Gwents as well. Oh, you have any females, have you? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> There's two in there. Yeah, they were out of another grow out tank and like I spotted them and yeah that's a female <laughs> oh yeah wicked well right, let's have a look at another one okay this is the last tank we're going to look at and there's quite a lot of fish in here but this is your grow out tank is that right with it's the Nicaraguans the tanks, yeah. yeah so it's the Nicaragua Gwens uh, they're the F1 pair and the rest of them are the Fenestratus the, that male's beautiful mate beautiful F1 male that and there's the female stunning Stunning pair of nicks, and then you've obviously got. Have you got? You got a mixture here, haven't you? Yeah, it, it's. There was the. That's the female cutter either. Oh, yeah. I've had all the thrive from. I've, I've lost the male, unfortunately. Oh, well, sad um, happens. The male Neotropolis is in there. I've lost the female. I think I saw the male before actually swimming about. It was a decent size. Is that it there? Yeah, yeah. It's a big. That's the biggest neat I've ever seen. Anyway, would you say that's full size? Yeah, yeah. It, He's about two and a half years Getting old. Getting photobombed right now. Yeah, stunning that. Stunning. And just some beautiful pink and normal fens in there, mate. If anybody wants any of these, or cut Bill on his channel. Because these are for sale, am I right in saying? This yeah. me I'm promoting your fish. You don't even tell me if they are. Mm. Yeah. Get your hands on some decent VAF yeah, fenestrats. These are these. These are born to F1 parents, so these are F2s, is that right? That's yeah, right. yeah. Stunning fish. Right, okay. Well, cheer what for Bill. Thank you so much for having us over because I've absolutely loved being here. And now we're going to go off and Bill's going to catch me a load of fish and 
you'll have to wait for the next video to see what those fish are. Um, and there's going to be a fair few of them, I'm not going to lie. So thanks for all the support. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Just press the subscribe button and ping the bell. And me and Bill are off to catch some fish. So see you on the next one.